on today's video we're back with the trans am with the lt1 in it yes it's a lt1 not a ls calm down but the headlight motors are the same so we're going to be showing you how to change that don't mind the second gen in the background that's in other videos you can check my channel out if you knew and ain't seen those so we got the new motor this is off ebay it's like 44 some dollars 44 bucks wasn't it shane about 40 about 40 40 bucks for that brand new you can buy a rebuild kit for your oem ones come with a brass bushing but if you don't want to take it apart and you're lazy then you can just buy the whole motor now to swap these out it's pretty simple you need a wrench to get on this boat this boat and that boat down there now you can't disconnect your battery to do this but we never have and we're not going to do it today but we are going to unplug the motor it's got a clip in it and these bolts right here is a size 10 millimeter and you are welcome just so you know on the other side of this you see that turning that's a bolt head that's a 10 millimeter you will need to hold these on both sides we got one bolt out we got the other bolt to go be careful not lose your nut if it does it's going to hit that shield and disappear forever so once you get your, all your nuts off you can pretty well fry it always out but you need to take the nut loose that's on this arm here the locking nut you can see it goes right here and it's right in there and it should be a 10 millimeter too i not checked but we can check right fast it's can't we it oh it's done off yeah, it's well see i wasn't <laughs> filming that i should got that on film it's a 10 millimeter it's done off and then this usually is stuck on and you can wobble it off work its way out Shane, you want to do the honors mm -hmm. so we don't lose anything? I'll work the head bite and whatever so I can see. It's coming. Make me go get a pry bar. We do need one to pry this. A pry bar? Yeah. Sometimes stuff just ain't as simple as you think it's going to be. Sometimes it is. Most of the time it's not. And we need a pry bar. You see one? If you spotted one, leave a comment. Say hi, Shane. You know I got some PB Blaster. Oh, that comes. Oh, the headlight moves. Look how simple that was. Oops. <laughs> now, oops. Now it goes in the same way it came out. And don't over tighten your bolts. So what we did, we manually adjusted this one all the way up. Right here. You can see we twisted this little thing. And we uh, turned the lights on so this one would come up. So when we plug it in and let it down, it should go down. This one should go down. You know, that way you don't break your gears inside. Because sometimes they can be picky. And uh, that motor, if you you want to know, it come off eBay. Don't know what sale it came from, but it was purchased off eBay. So let's see if it works. Okay, let it up. Let it down. Let it up. Okay, now if you didn't just see in the video, but 
it works uh, before it was making a winding noise once it went down it just kept turning the gear was broke inside they do make a good upgrade for that and that's a upgrade kit with a like a brass gear it's highly recommended but you can get my if you, you're not comfortable with that you can just buy a motor for like 40 bucks so if you're new to the channel as I said before if you're interested in this car seeing it built this is a 79 Kamal that's been uh, going through a 70 conversion split bumper you know it's uh party in the back business in the front we ain't got it completely together but they plenty of build videos on that also you see a lot of these cars in the background and stuff we do sell parts check out the ebay store in the description we also sell toys vintage stuff might be something on the you need you know it's short, it's a little extra support for me i appreciate all the support you can just like and comment on this video it helps just as much never buy anything you don't need don't put yourself in a hard spot money's too hard to come by so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one